してくれます。ごめんなさい。どうも初めまして。<笑>
Алексей Баранов, Всероссийский Алексей радиокомпания Россия Баранов, 24 канал. Он был Russian TV канал Russia 24. Услышали остальные журналисты. Вот so, все-таки корабль новой серии. Первый корабль новой серии. I asked this question during the landing at the landing spot. But I will ask this question once again. Did you like the new modification of the vehicle, Soyuz vehicle? From the standpoint of how cosmonauts and astronauts feel inside the Soyuz vehicle, everything was great. From the standpoint of the hardware, that the new modification has. This modification is more reliable. And uh, we have new modifications uh, in the landing system and the ascent system as well. And we also had to test this modification in flight and all the tests were successful. Thank you. Next question, please. Dear friends and colleagues, if you don't have any other questions, let us say congratulations to our dear crew members once again. We wish you good luck and I hope they will see their families there very soon. Thank you very much, everyone. Okay, Kay Rubin's back after 115 days in space. First off, welcome home. It's great to see you back here on planet Earth. And start me off, just kind of how was the ride down? How are you feeling right now? Well, the ride is pretty incredible. You're going through the plasma layer. Uh, the entire vehicle is, is going from 17,500 miles an hour down to uh, impact on landing. So it's about as dynamic as you can expect. Uh, and it's pretty amazing that we can take three human beings and send them from outer space into the steppes of Kazakhstan that quickly. And you're one of our true kind of scientist astronauts. You did research all over the planet before you ever went to space, and now you've done research off the planet. How did the station kind of stack up as a laboratory in your experience? Well, I think the space station is probably one of the most unique and amazing laboratories I've ever seen. Uh, it's actually quite like a remote research environment in the middle of Africa. Uh, we have to think about our power considerations, our water recycling, um, but the fact that we can do science up there while in low Earth orbit is incredible, and the kind of science that we're seeing these days is truly amazing. You did a lot of science up there. Was Did you have a favorite experiment, anything that was just really kind of a, oh, wow, I can't believe I'm doing this moment for you? Yeah, when we uh, sequenced DNA in space for the first time, that was pretty incredible. It's something that my lab did at, at Whitehead at MIT, and so to be doing that uh, as we're orbiting the planet was amazing. And, I mean, any space flight is just kind of one constant memorable moment. Was there any kind of one thing that's always going to stand out for you? Yeah, I think uh, getting a chance to do some spacewalks is going to not ever fade. Um, so that's a, a pretty amazing thing to do, to be outside the vehicle and just have the vacuum of space between you and your helmet and the planet. All right. Well, Kate Rubens, thanks for a couple of quick questions. Great to see you, and safe flight home to Houston. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And then Taku Takuya Onishi, back from over 115 days in space. First off, welcome back to Earth. It's good to see you down here. If you start me off, you know, describe the landing a little bit. How how are you feeling right now? Feeling right now is not uh, good. Of course, it's a, a motion sickness, but uh, I felt so happy that uh, when I saw when I saw the sky of Kazakhstan uh, at the landing site, the sky was just beautiful and gorgeous, and I realized that uh, that's something I missed uh, on Norway. The landing was a little bit uh, rough ride, yeah, but uh, everybody told me about that, so I think uh, I was well prepared for that, so I actually enjoyed uh, that uh, rough ride home. How was that kind of first breath of cold air, because you're landing in the winter, what was it like to get out of the hatch and, you know, feel the wind on your face again? I felt uh, light breeze and cold air, that was great. Uh -huh. Okay, this was your first space flight. Was there anything, you know, really memorable that you're always going to take away from this? You're always going to, you know, that's the first story you're going to tell people about when they ask you what it was like in space. I would say everything was memorable, but especially uh, 
experiments we did uh, on all this station, those experiments were just just great, and uh, I learned a lot from uh, uh, Expedition 48 Commander Jeff Williams as well as uh, 50 Commander uh, Shane Kimball. Those experienced crew members taught us uh, a lot, so I think. Uh, I hope I can do the same thing for the second flight for new rookies. And one final question. There's a lot of science, a lot of different experiments that take place on board the station. Was there any one, did you have a favorite kind of, I know JAXA does a lot of biomedical research and other things like that. Was there one thing that you really was kind of just, wow, I can't believe I'm working on this in space? Yeah, I, I studied uh, material science in my university, so I was really interested in uh, uh, that kind of experiment. Then uh, in the Japanese experiment module, Kibo, there is an ex experiment uh, which is right now going on. It's called the uh, ELF, Electros Mag Electromagnetic Study uh, Levitation Furnace. And uh, when I had a when I had a training in Tsukuba about uh, that experiment, I was really interested in that idea of uh, how uh, it is using the unique uh, space environment, then uh, I actually got a uh, hand, hand on uh, that experiment, so that was very cool. Yeah. All right, fascinating stuff. Well, again, Takuya Onishi back from 115 days in space here in Kazakhstan. Thank you so much for your time, and welcome home. Thank you very much. First Deputy Chairman of the State Commission, Increment 49 has performed their mission successfully. Very good to see you. So good to see you. Hello. Okay, are you ready?